Peter Podmar has been living and working in West Newton and Northumberland for many years. His studio is surrounded by chevious hills, which are a major subject of his pictures. Pia is inspired by the landscape, the hills, the trees, and the clouds, and sometimes visits the nearby coast. Because he lives in West Newton, he gets to see the hills and valleys in all the seasons and rivers. Pia invited us up to his studio for the day so we could see how he works and so we could see the world he paints. He knows a lot about the history of the area too, and he pointed out some history to us. Why they put them on the top, I don't know. Well, Northumberland's a nice, quiet place to, to live. I mean, there's no one, they're not disturbed by people. There's uh, very, very few people come up here. And I have free access to lots of beautiful hills and, and valleys, like we've seen today. Um, and there's just so much subject matter to, to work from. I mean, I can't think of anywhere where you'd have more varied um, subject matter. I mean, I've got bar pictures of barns here, I've got pictures of um, hills, I've got pictures of trees and willows and all sorts of things. So there's a huge variety of work of, that I can do. I started in Paris, so I could hardly say that was really when I started because it was so bad. I had a terrible education from that point of view. My first school didn't do any any painting, and my second school I never got to do any any painting either. I went to college in 1972 to art college until 1976. So professionally, I suppose I started in 1976. And I had a big studio down in, in, in the Clooney in, um, in Newcastle. Then, more recently, I started painting landscapes in 1992, probably. And um, I've been doing landscapes ever since. I think the winter is the best time because of the colour. We have a lot more colour in the winter. In the summer it's very green and um, the colour is not so interesting really but in the winter um, we've just been up the valley and seen these wonderful red sides of the hills where the bracken has turned, turned colour and um, the heather in the autumn is sort of pink and then it turns to black and, um, and you have the, the skies seem to have a lot more colour in the winter as well they're very much more dramatic um, although the, of course you get blue skies in the summer but it's a more interesting light but the main thing in the winter is that we have here is these willows which have um, shrubs which uh, are down by the riverside which in the winter have become very very red, red and yellow, and so they give me a lot of lovely colour to work with. Um, and I've only got them in the back backyard there, so I can easily pop out and paint them any time I like. So they're, they're, that's, winter's probably my best time. And, and the autumn, I love the autumn, because you get these beautiful yellows and oranges and things, but it doesn't last very long, and you don't always get nice weather to go and do it.
To help us understand more about the landscape, Peter thought we should see it for ourselves. We travelled six miles up the College Valley as far as the foot of the Chevius to see places Peter loves to paint and draw. We took our own materials with us and stopped off at several places along the way where Peter explained to us what he knew about the landscape and we had time to sketch and draw. It's, it's really good, I think, for people to see you know, what there is to draw and to, to get an awareness of the landscape and see what, what is left of the landscape, because there's very little left. You've got erosion, you've got acid rain, you've got all sorts of things happening to the, the landscape nowadays, which is gradually making it disappear. And in some countries you've got people chopping down the trees like nothing on earth, and they the oxygen all disappearing out of the atmosphere and things are changing. We have had two big floods here in the last two years. Last year, in fact, July this year and September. And it's all due to climate change and I don't think people are really aware enough of, of the landscape and how precious it is nowadays. Very important to make people aware of it. To, to be able to go up into the hills and to work um, and to work out just out in the countryside and sit outside with, you know, with a your painting in front of you and with pheasants running around and chickens and, and the birds twittering and um, the rivers sort of gurgling past. I mean, it's, it's just magical. <laughs>